Hello. Yes. Come in. Come in. Quickly. Quickly, quickly. Nobody saw you come in, did they? Jolly good. Jolly good. Yes, well, I would hate it for anyone to know that you are here. I'd have my medical license taken away from me for sure. Oh, no, no, no. There's no need to look quite so worried. Everything that I'm doing here is quite innocent and all perfectly harmless, I promise you. What I will be doing with you today, which you have so kindly agreed to be my test subject, you prefer the term volunteer, rightio, which you have so kindly volunteered for, is to develop my understanding of the brain. More precisely, neuroanatomy. Yes. No, no, you don't need to remember that word. That's absolutely fine. So I have been studying the work of both Charles Bell and John Hewlings Jackson, and I have been looking at their research and their development into the cranial nerves. Yes, their theories are based on the work of the great Galen. Have you heard of Galen? Galen said that there were seven pairs of cranial nerves, whereas German anatomist Samuel Sommering said that there were in fact twelve. So today I will be studying closely your cranial nerves by performing very simple and very painless tests on all of the different cranial nerve pairs that might be going along in your brain. Fascinating, isn't it? Well, that's a good question. Why all the secrecy? <laughs> well, you know I study at the university. Yes, the medical one, that's right. Well, unfortunately, they don't allow me to perform live uh, observations on uh, conscious uh, test subjects on account of me being a woman. So I have to find my own ways of observing and studying the things I learn at the university, or in this case, things that I haven't learnt at the university but are quite fascinated in, and I'm confident that my research and my study will further the advancement of humankind. So it's all thanks to you that this is happening. Well, yes, the financial advancement on your behalf, of, of course. We said ten shillings, correct? It's all a bit steep if you ask me, but that's what I pay for discretion. I can trust you to not breathe a word of this to anyone. Good. Well, if you promise to keep your mouth shut, I promise to keep your pockets lined. And if you prove to be trustworthy enough, I'm sure there will be many more opportunities for you to make a financial profit. Do we have a deal? 
jolly good. I knew I could count on you. So, to keep things all above board and to keep everything medically correct, I will have to ask you a couple of very simple rudimentary questions which have a direct impact onto the conclusion of the cranial nerve exam that I will be performing on you today. Now don't worry, all of your answers will be kept confidential. Like I say, you're not meant to be here. So of course, I would never divulge your medical information to anyone else. need to take your name. I will just put you down as John Doe. <laughs> but I will need to take your age. Uh -huh. And your gender is obviously yes. And might I ask you what your occupation is? Let me see. Uh, is that new? Within the last six months. Okay. And are you left-handed or right-handed? <laughs> That's an interesting uh, observation. Do you partake in alcohol frequently? How many nights a week? Right, I see. And do you have any problems with your eyes, such as pain, blurriness? Okay. And do you have any issues with your sense of smell or taste? Okay. Any issues with hearing? No. Do you have any siblings? I see. How many? Five brothers, three sisters. And are your parents still alive? Oh, no, I don't suppose they will be. How did they die? Oh, I see. Yes, there's a lot of that going on, going around. And was that both of them or just one? Oh, both of them. How unfortunate. I'm sorry for your loss. I see. And what age were they when they died? Okay, well, that's perfectly adequate. Thank you ever so much. We'll get on with it then, shall we? So, really all I'll be doing is doing various tests. I'll be asking you a few questions. Really, you don't need to pay too much attention um, or really concentrate too much. I'll just be writing some notes to myself. Um, just to make sure I've got everything written down properly to come to my conclusions at the end. So, first of all, I'll be looking at your sense of smell. Now you said you didn't have any problems with your sense of smell, which is good. So, I have some vials. And I want you to tell me what you can smell. So the first one, take a good long whiff. <laughs> what do you think that might be? Oh, yes, very good, very good. Fascinating, fascinating. Mm. Identify that correctly. a good long whiff of this. What do you think that might be? Uh, that's interesting. That's jolly interesting. 
interesting. Now, what in what would happen if the subject couldn't identify the smell but could still smell it? In your case, let me write a note there. Subject can smell but doesn't know fragrance. Not in contact. Now, that's very interesting. So this. Take another whiff of it again. Can you describe what you think it smells like? Yes. Oh, well, that's fascinating. I've never known it to be described as thus. Well, I'll tell you. That fragrance is called eucalyptus. Now, eucalyptus is a plant. And it produces that bright, fresh, vibrant, cool, minty, familiar with mint, minty kind of smell. So, it's very interesting to note and keep in mind that depending on the test subject, I mean volunteer, keep in mind Fragrances that are easily identifiable. Yes, very good. Okay, so that's smell. Now we are going to look at your eyes. And what I would like you to do is just to look straight ahead at me. Please don't move your eyes around or try and look at my face in any more detail. I just want to look at your eyes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now look up. Yes. Now look down. And side to side. And straight at me. Very good. Okay, fascinating. Have you had any head injuries by any chance? Are you sure? Okay. No trauma to the head. you to follow the light that it emits. Now please don't move your head, just move your eyes. So are you ready? Just follow the light. It quite looks like a cake, doesn't it? No, no, I can't uh, wink my left eye, unfortunately. I had an accident when I was a child, and I unfortunately cannot shut that eye. And I do jolly struggle with this one. I wish there was a better way to observe such things without having to close one's eyes. But one of these days... Jolly good, jolly good. Fascinating stuff. So, mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright. 
No. Something quite fun. Keeping your head and your eyes straight at me. Don't wander the eyes around. And I want you to tell me where in your peripheral vision, um, peripheral, uh, like your blind spots, <laughs> I want you to tell me when my finger is wiggling like this. Can you do that? Wonderful. That's good. Yes. 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 Very good. Wonderful. Very good. Now, can you count? Oh, good. Okay, we'll do that one then. I won't do any more than five because I only have five fingers. Please tell me how many fingers I'm holding up. Yes, keep your eyes straight at me, please. Yes. 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 I will go slower, I apologize. And one more. <laughs> yes, jolly good. Okay. Just so. Hmm. Fascinating. Now I want you to do that again, but I want you to cover one eye. Okay. We'll just do the wiggle desk because you struggle. Fine. So cover one eye, whichever one you want. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Very good. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now swap over. Jolly good. bit harder. Yes. Yes. Oh. Perfect. Well done. Okay. Okay. So, last one for the eyes. Please go to here. Read this. Can you read it from this distance? How about now? How about now? Can you read any of the lines here? Okay. And now. I know they're quite a new thing, but I know a lot of people have definitely benefited from having a pair of spectacles. I can have uh, you tested, your eyes tested more thoroughly. If you struggled a little bit with that, I definitely think glasses would make your life a whole lot better. Yes, of course, you can decide on that later. So, you did struggle with that. But that's not necessarily an indication as to the cranial nerves being broken, damaged, or what have you. I think that says more about your sight, more than anything. Okay. So, now, I will be testing the sensitivity of your face and I'll be using my pencil here to just touch areas of your face 
and I want you to tell me when you feel this sensation. Now, no cheating. I would like you to close your eyes for this. All right, when you're ready. Where am I touching now? Good. What about now? Now, what about now? Now, and now, and now, and now, and now. And now. Okay, jolly good. You may open your eyes. Absolutely. You come a little bit closer and observe your facial muscles. So I'll be asking you to perform various different poses, expressions with your face, starting with a frown. Let me have a look here. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely fascinating and relaxed. Now, raise both eyebrows as if you've had quite a fright. Yes. And relax. Raise them again. Yes, yes, yes. And relax. Wonderful. Raise both eyebrows. Now, close both eyes so tightly as if you're trying to disappear from the world. Yes. Yes. And relax. And again. Close them very tightly. Tight, 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 tight. And relax. Okay, so I'd like you to do that again, but I'm going to try and open your eyes with my fingers. Yes? Okay, very good. Sorry. Very good. Yes, relax. Could you smile for me? A big, wide smile, just to show me your top and bottom teeth. Okay? Oh, there. Maybe I'll keep back a little bit. Yes. Mm -hmm. Open your mouth. Stick out your tongue. Put your tongue to the roof of your mouth. And relax. Big grin. Good. Now puff out your cheeks like this. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. And suck in your cheeks as if you've tasted something quite bitter. Okay. Wonderful. Good, good. Yes, relax. Is an interesting part of the exam, the taste test. So I have a little tincture here, and I don't suppose someone of your inclination will have any problem identifying what this taste is. So 
So all I'd like you to do is just hold out your tongue and I will drop a few drops of this onto your tongue. Are you ready? One, two, three. What can you tell me that this is? <laughs> yes, it is brandy. <laughs> Jolly good. Perfect. We are flying through this. So, next I will be very briefly testing your hearing. Now, what environment did you say you worked in again? So would you say that's loud? I'm not familiar. I see, so moderately loud. So how we conduct this test is that I will be whispering some words from ear to ear from this distance, a little bit closer, and then with distortion on either side of the ear. So it makes it a little bit harder. So all I want you to do is just repeat back the word to me that you hear. All right. So now I'm going to be repeating that, but a little bit closer, and I'll be changing the words up so you don't quite remember them. <laughs> Alright, are you ready? Okay, so we're going to be doing that once more, but with distortion on either ear. And to do that, I'll be putting on some gloves. Here we go. Are you struggling? I see. Right. Okay. That's no 
no, that's absolutely fine. Uh, struggled with difference. Distortion. Okay. We'll try the same, but. Still a little bit stroppy. Might I ask you, do you use an ear trumpet for your hearing? Maybe, if I may suggest, you need to have your ears tested as well as your eyes. There are so many wonderful devices that can improve your hearing to no end. And since we have an understanding, I'm sure we can provide you with a medical discount should you not be able to afford such implements. They will drastically improve your life and your well-being, absolutely. And yes, I can test your ears. Okay. So the last test is very simple. I want you to shrug your shoulders. Yes. And try and push them down. Yes, yes, yes. And relax. Shrug them again. And down. Mm -hmm. Do you have any pain in your shoulders or uh, joints or anything like that? Head down so your chin tries to ch touch your chest. Okay, and begin. Oh, I heard that. Alright, pain there. Okay. Right, so I think that is everything. I will have to consult all of my findings. Rather fascinating. I don't think I have any more tests to do. Let me see here. No, that is all very good. You've done excellently. Yes, you are free to go. Yes, of course, your payment. I have just popped it in a little envelope by the door, so please feel free to uh, collect that on your way out. Yes, ten shillings as agreed. Thank you so much for your service, your patience, and your sacrifice to the medical advancement of our human rights. I do very much appreciate it. It has been wonderful working with you and I hope to see you again very soon. Yes, do take care. Cheerio.